I'm Dorothy, have a seat. So, Hong Kong's currently under a semi-lockdown. And I know that doesn't apply for most of you in other countries because your governments are opening up. Ours is not. How do I spend my time, you ask? I sleep, I eat, I occasionally shower. So, I decided why not utilize all my ridiculous amount of time and my ridiculous amount of unworn outdoor clothes because all I'm wearing now is hoodies and sweatpants. Okay, back on track. So I decided why not dress up as Harry Potter characters for a week but in the modern era so that I'm not always wearing robes because they have no fashion sense. Cough. Harry, cough. Let's get right onto it to my favorite character. Umbridge. It was then when she realized her career was going to end before it even started. How could I be so stupid? I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. More than Hermione Granger would probably be planning her presidential campaign right this moment. So I wanted to choose something timeless for her. And this top with a square neckline makes sure that she looks professional when telling men not to interrupt her when she talks. And these pants that are probably the best investment I made in my entire life because they have pockets. Need I say more? They have pockets. Plus, they are formal looking enough, but also comfortable enough for when she needs to go kick some asses with Ron and Harry. And I pair this with a golden hoop belt and a pair of black boots to match. Finishing off with a highly impractical white cross body bag. In the bag are probably badges for the fun that she's setting up for the Ukrainian refugees. I tied a white bandana to my half up ponytail and voila, the look is finished. This is light. Bloody hell. This outfit is called the If I bumped into Hermione, then I would have a jacket for Hermione outfit. Red hair, hand-me-downs, must be a Weasley. This outfit was actually inspired by an actual outfit of Ron. So I have on some vintage looking corduroy pants and a not so vintage red long sleeves slapped on top of a white lace undershirt. The highlight though is a flannel jacket that I thrift for 20 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 2 and 5 cents US dollars. Next, I have on some white high top converses and a corduroy bag that looks like it was cut out from my pants. I also did my hair in this spiky, messy bun. You know, channeling some Ron energy. Sprinkle in a little of messiness. Time to go to work in the FBI with Harry. I sleepwalk, you see? That's why I wear shoes to bed. Luna Lovegood deserves the world. There, I said it. Luna is such a special person and she deserves a really special outfit too. So I went with some bolder colors like green and yellow with a drizzle of floral patterns. The flowers of this jacket really reminds me of the flower patterns in Spongebob. I paired it with a tennis skirt that probably everybody owns. On to my favorite part. Ugh, I cannot tell you how much I love this bag and the shoes. And someone would probably look down on me for pairing socks and heels together. Luna wouldn't care. And honestly, sometimes we should all channel our inner Luna. I'm sure we're all going to be very good friends. If I really had to make an outfit based on the true umbrage, I would have been wearing jail clothes. So, this outfit is if Umbridge was nice, a Hufflepuff, and had some fashion sense. I layered on a white puffy sleeve shirt on top of a pink floral dress. And I'm also hiding my sports bra inside. Then I have this pink bag that I stole from my mom's closet and some white high top converse to balance out the outfit. To match the white, I'm reusing Hermione Granger's bandana. Do I want to associate the two together? No. But for the aesthetic, yes. But this time, I'm using it like those headbands in the 70s. And now this nice remodeled umbrage can go do some charity work. You didn't think I would forget Hufflepuff, right? Sorry, I'm not <clears throat> JK <clears throat> rolling. I sort of wish I had a red leather jacket so I could match it with the Nymphadora aesthetic. But in the meantime, I stole my dad's red button up for this. It was Friday and I became a little creative with things. You know how people would wear sweaters with only the sleeves? I attempted on doing that with a button up and honestly, it turned out not bad. So for this, I'm wearing a black tank top and I'm wearing the button up over. I'm pulling the button up up and I'm tugging the ends of it 
into my tank top. It's not entirely like the sweater sleeve thing, but it will do. And it gives Tongs a more grown up working look. Then I just put on some black jeans and some black combat boots. And we'll call it a day. But you loved that, didn't you, Potter? I'm racist. I despise the Gryffindor house. And my parents work for the man who killed your parents. Do you want to be friends? Draco Malfoy. The guy who most of us just can't hate. He is mean, he is arrogant, and most importantly, he has daddy's money. So I layered a green collar shirt on top of this black mini dress with a short sleeve blazer on. Cause a fancy blazer just makes you feel more powerful. Anyways, putting on some loafers and Draco is ready to go find daddy to tell him how Hermione Granger is running against him in the elections. Boo hoo hoo. But I am the chosen one. Harry Potter, the chosen one to be the best fashion icon in the world. The boy who only wore one shirt. This is the last outfit of the week and it is Sunday as I am speaking. So I'm editing today and I have this really simple outfit with a white hoodie and some checkered jeans. These jeans are really the most comfortable jeans that I own. And I have on some basic white sneakers and we can go fight crime with Ron. Hi, it's editing me. I realized that I forgot to film an outro, but I will do it next time. Pinky promise. I really hope you enjoyed the video, I really enjoyed filming it, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time, bye!